What's up everybody, Liam Clisham here for another Houdini quick tip. So I've noticed using Houdini 18 that there's this cool new thing called Mask from Geo and it had me thinking, why are we all still doing attribute transfers for the most part, especially for mobile graph type work? So uh, I just wanted to do like a quick compare and contrast of the setup for a typical attribute transfer for something like this with like a sphere and some noise versus the same thing but with mask from geo and just for the hell of it mops um, so in a typical setup here you know you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven nodes and that's quite a bit just to try and recreate some simple MoGraphy things or simple things in general um, and so you, you know you have to create an attribute here an attribute here that I've called MoGraph and then you gotta transfer it and if visualize it and come over here type in MoGraph okay that's looking alright and then this is a ramp so I can kinda have some randomness to it and ups and downs as it moves across this is just a moving noise there you can see that it's multiplying into our MoGraph. I have to promote it from MoGraph to Zscale before going into Extrude like that and then just normalize with the normal there. Um, and that's a lot of work just to be able to do like some simple MoGraphy transfer effects. So if you haven't seen Mask from Geometry um, it's new to Houdini 18, at least that's what I can see when I've gone back and opened Houdini 17, 17.5. 17 and really, it's pretty straightforward. It's everything that I just showed compact pretty much into one node. So instead of having to set up attributes on your grid and your sphere or however you're doing it, and then doing an attribute transfer, you can come in here and simply say what mask you want to output. So we're going to be doing Zscale because that's what we're going to do down here. Uh, it's just easier that way. And you can see we have a ramp in here and we can visualize it just like this. So let's say I wanted to kind of dip down there, kind of come up like that. All right, good enough. And then add some noise to it and multiply the noise in there, promote it to Zscale, and then look at that we have the exact same setup in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nodes um, instead of the 11. But if you just count the original ones, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven nodes to get to what they've consolidated down into mask from geometry. So I thought that was super interesting that like, a lot of people are still using attribute transfers and you know they have their place for certain things but i think for the most part like this can solve a lot of issues um with setup time for setting up just a basic attribute transfer now the other thing that you could do is i'm a big proponent for mops is just put it all in one single node here and then promote it here. So if you're not familiar with MOPS, go check out motionoperators.com. Super awesome. Uh, there are a bunch of motion design, MoGraphy tools, uh, amongst some other things that help make these kind of workflows easier. But this is basically what I just created with the, yeah, go back. There we go. Sorry about that. With the mask from Geo but consolidated into just this one nice fall off here. So if I preview that, see we get some like noisy shape fall off. The shape here is a sphere. I've turned on some noise with time variation and then we promote it and then there it is. And that's that. If I hit play, just like the other ones, they have noise and we can compare and contrast. So there, here's a mask from Geo like that and attribute transfer like that. So basically, all the same way of getting to the same solution, um, just kinda making each one easier and easier. So that's really it, that's the quick tip here is, you know, if you've been using attribute transfers for a while, check out masks from Geometry. Um, 
I'm really liking them for most simple things. And then if you really wanna try something fun and new, go check out Mops, of course. Thanks as always for being a follower. If you aren't already following along, go ahead and hit subscribe, hit that bell, ring it, or whatever those YouTubers say, and uh, let me know what you think, or if you have a specific tutorial you want me to cover, go ahead and let me know in the comments. All right, thanks everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.